if baby can't go to the clinic, then the clinic, this mobile 2,000 pounds one, will go to baby. Servicing the new housing estates that are springing up in West Middlesex, it has all the facilities of the ordinary clinic. Calls are made regularly, so a special day is set aside for it. He's fixing things to enable the clinic to be fixed temporarily when it's uncoupled from the van. Fitted with stretcher doors, it can be used in an emergency as a mobile operating theater or first aid post. Mrs. Lynn, helped by her young friend Norma, brings her two children, two and a half year old David and one year old Janet, for a checkup with nurse, health visitor, and doctor. Once inside, it's just like the clinics they're used to. There are even two dressing cubicles. Trained nurse, Mrs. Laura Allen, gets the scales ready for a lightweight weigh-in in this lightweight clinic. A storage tank under the floor supplies the water. Before this outpatient's department on wheels was built, experts likely to use it were consulted and their ideas incorporated. It's air-conditioned and it's kept warm under any conditions. All instruments are sterilized by Mrs. Allen. First, Janet makes the acquaintance of Miss Kathleen Slay, the local health visitor, who's also a trained nurse. After Miss Slay has questioned Mrs. Lynn about her baby's medical history, Janet goes to doctor. And that girl has decided views on clinics. 